Hi all crochet lovers. In the previous tutorial I completed the crown section. Here I'm going to do the head circumference. For row 1 we are going to skip the first chain space. We are going to skip this by making slip stitches. I will make a total of 4 slip stitches and I will reach the second chain space. So the first chain space we have skipped. In the second chain space we will do a chain of 3 and do 2 double crochets in the same chain space. Go to the second chain space and do 3 double crochets. In the third chain space do another group of three double crochets. In the fourth chain space another group of three double crochets. We'll not have any double crochets in these two chain spaces. Make a chain of 7. This chain of 7 is the base for a spider. These two chain spaces will be skipped. In this chain space, do a group of 3 double crochets and repeat the same pattern. We'll have 4 groups of 3 double crochets. Make a chain of 7 at the end of that those 4 groups and reach out to the third chain space and repeat the pattern. We have a group of four three double crochets in this row. That's the end of row one. We start row two by going into the gap between two groups of three double crochets. In this gap we will make three double crochet. This will be our first group. Go to the next gap and make another group of three double crochets. Another group in the third gap. We have three groups now. Make a chain of three. In this chain space of seven, which we did in the previous row, we'll do a single crochet, then a chain of three, Go into the first gap between the two groups and make a group of three double crochets and repeat the pattern. A group in the next gap. This is called a spider stitch. Make a chain of three. In this chain space of seven, make a single crochet, chain of three, go to the next gap and repeat the pattern. For row 3, go into the gap between the two groups and do a group here with 3 double crochets. Go to the next gap 
and do another group of three double crochets. In this row we'll have uh, two groups. Make a chain of three. In the space between these two chains, do a single crochet. Do a single crochet over the single crochet from the previous row. A single crochet between these two chain spaces. So now we have three single crochets. Make a chain of three. Make a group of three double crochets in this gap. Three double crochets in the next gap, chain of three, a single crochet in this chain space, single crochet over the single crochet from the previous row, and single crochet in this chain space. Chain of three. And repeat the same pattern by making two groups between the gaps from previous row. Row 4, we'll do one group between the gap between the two groups of previous row. So we made three double crochets there, a chain of three, one single crochet between this chain space, three single crochets over the single crochets from previous row, two, three, and the last single crochet in this chain space. So we have five single crochets in the spider three a chain of three and a group of double crochets three double crochets in this gap chain of three single crochet in this chain space Three single crochets over the previous rows, three single crochets. A single crochet in this chain space. And a chain of three. And continue the pattern. From row 5 onwards, we are going to increase the groups. So in row 5, in this chain space, make a group of 3 double crochets. In the next chain space, make a group of three double crochets chain of three skip the first stitch go to the second single crochet and make a single crochet make two more single crochets over the next two stitches. Skip the last stitch. So we have three single crochets, make a chain of three and do two groups of three double crochets on both sides of the previous group.
a chain of three skip the first stitch and make three single crochets on the second third and fourth single crochet skip the fifth single crochet and make a chain of three and continue the pattern For row six we'll have three groups go into the chain space and do a group of three double crochet three double crochets go into the gap between the two groups and do a group of three double crochets and go into the chain space and make a group of three double crochets make a chain of three skip the first single crochet in the second single crochet do a single crochet so we just have one single crochet now chain of three and do three groups of single double crochets in these three spaces make a chain of three skip the first single crochet in the second single crochet do a single crochet and skip the third single crochet make a chain of three and continue the pattern you can see that the spider stitch has started to stand up for row seven We'll do a group of four double crochets. The first group goes in the chain space. The second group goes in the gap between the first two groups of the previous row. In each group we are making three double crochets. The third group goes in the second gap. And the fourth group goes in the chain space. Make a chain of 11. Previously we did a chain of 7 but now we are doing a chain of 11. That's because we want to increase the circumference of the head that we're making in the hat. Now go to the chain space and make a group of three double crochets and continue the pattern. For row eight, do three groups. Go into the gap between two groups of the previous row. In the first gap, make a group of three double crochet. In the second gap, make another group. And in the third gap, make another group. Now make a chain of five. In this chain space of 11, make a single crochet. Chain of five. And make three groups in the gaps. For row 9, make a chain of 5. In the chain space, make one single crochet, one single crochet over the previous single crochet, and one single crochet in this chain space. Make a chain of 5 and do a group of 3 double crochets. 
in the first gap and another group in the second gap. So you'll have two groups here, a chain of five, a single crochet in this chain space, a single crochet over the previous row single crochet, and one single crochet in the chain space. A chain of five, and repeat the pattern by doing two groups in the two gaps. For row 10, do one group of three double crochets into this gap. Make a chain of 5. One single crochet in this chain space. Three single crochets over the three next three stitches. And one single crochet in this chain space. A chain of 5. And one group of double crochet, three double crochets into this gap. For row 11, again we are going to increase by doing two groups in the chain spaces. That's the first group. And one in the next group goes in this chain space. We'll do three double crochets here. A chain of five. And now we are, we are going to start decreasing the spider. Skip the first stitch. In the next three stitches do single crochets. And skip the last stitch. Make a chain of five. And do two groups on either side of the one group that was there in the previous row. For row 12, we'll do three groups by going into the chain space and doing the first group. In this gap we'll do the second group. And the third group will go in this gap. A chain of five. Skip the first and the last stitches. In the center stitch do a single crochet. Chain of five and continue the pattern. For row 13 The first will gr group will go into the first chain space. In the first gap, we'll have the second group. In the second gap, we'll have the third group. And in the chain space, we'll have the fourth group. So we have four groups. Now make a chain of five. And make four groups as explained earlier. Now here we are not making the spider again because this is the end of the circumference of our hat. So we just want to close the spiders by having a chain of five and joining it to the next groups. And this is how it looks in the end. We're joining the last chain of five with a slip stitch. In the next tutorial, we are going to cover the brim area for the hat.